bitterest reprisal. Harry caught off guard as his ex took revenge on the abrupt relationship. Florence St. George has said she feels lucky that her relationship with Prince Harry was short-lived because she struggled to deal with the publicity. The model, who briefly dated the Duke of Sussex in 2011, recalled their short-lived relationship in the latest issue of magazine. St. George, 35, said the relationship brought a wave of scrutiny from the media and the public, and that her privacy ended abruptly. A new story would appear almost every day in the press, my school friends were interrogated and there were photographers outside my front door, she recalled. St. George did not state why the pair broke up, only that she was sad at the time. I take my hat off to those people who can cope with that lifestyle, but I knew I couldn't. Although it was sad at the time, I feel lucky that the relationship was short-lived, she said. The model has been married to Henry St. George, the vice president of the Grand Bahama Port Authority, since 2013. The couple have two children, a daughter named Iris, five, and a son named Jimmy, three. Also in the interview, St. George spoke candidly about her struggles with mental health. She revealed that she has suffered from anxiety since her teenage years, and was also diagnosed with postnatal depression after giving birth for the first time. As soon as I gave birth to my daughter Iris, we were in love. She was perfect and I felt an overwhelming protective instinct towards her, she said. But that night, I also felt a chemical shift inside me. I'd be laughing and loving one minute, sobbing and angry the next. The mother of two said she became lost in fear and worry, and eventually sought help from a doctor after encouragement from her family. After seven long months I was diagnosed with postnatal depression. The doctor asked me what makes me happy, as a means of trying to diagnose me, and I couldn't answer, she recalled. Despite having a husband and baby that I deeply loved, I still couldn't remember the last time I'd actually felt happy. She revealed that along with being prescribed medication, she had found comfort in pottery. Florence said she turned to pottery as a means of calming her anxiety and after struggling with postnatal depression. Her love for the craft led to her applying to be a contestant on UK series The Great Pottery Throwdown in 2019. And although she feared producers would drag up her relationship with the royal, labeling her Harry's ex, she said, they treated me as just another contestant. I forced myself to pick up the clay and start playing. The feel of the smooth, wet material was so calming, she said. I made a tiny pinch pot, digging my thumb into the center of the clay and slowly molding it into shape. I was so absorbed in the task, and when I finished it, I felt a whoosh of positivity. For that moment, I felt like myself again. Florence joins a long list of Harry's glam exes including Love Islander Camilla Thurlow and British pop star Molly King. And several of the royal's former flames have claimed they were forced to cut ties with him after he wed Meghan. Kate Middleton's very well-connected friend Astrid Harbord, who attended the Duchess Hindu, and Harry were linked in 2009, after being spotted hanging out together in London. However, while the pair have been pictured at the same events over the years, Harry reportedly cut ties with the glam socialite once he started dating Meghan. Glam so two children, a daughter named Iris, five, and a son named Jimmy, three. Also in the interview, 
St. George spoke candidly about her struggles with mental health. She revealed that she has suffered from anxiety since her teenage years, and was also diagnosed with postnatal depression after giving birth for the first time. As soon as I gave birth to my daughter Iris, we were in love. She was perfect and I felt an overwhelming protective instinct towards her, she said. But that night, I also felt a chemical shift inside me. I'd be laughing and loving one minute, sobbing and angry the next. The mother of two said she became lost in fear and worry, and eventually sought help from a doctor after encouragement from her family. After seven long months I was diagnosed with postnatal depression. The doctor asked me what makes me happy, as a means of trying to diagnose me, and I couldn't answer, she recalled. Despite having a husband and baby that I deeply loved, I still couldn't remember the last time I'd actually felt happy. She revealed that along with being prescribed medication, she had found comfort 